Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy Six Gaming coming to you from Tutorial Land with Tutorial Love and today guys we are going to be making a rainbow beacon. Not only a rainbow beacon but the best rainbow beacon ever. Yeah, I've been doing those videos and people have been liking it so I'm going to start hunting through you know one of my almost 800 tutorials and just go for the best of everything and in my journeys I think basically this rainbow beacon wins because it's so easy to build and expand. So. Uh, let's just go ahead and shut this down right here make it nice and quiet I didn't shut it down because I flicked it too fast, but And there you go shuts it down uh, double tap will turn it on and yeah I think for this one here guys. Let's go for 371 likes 371 likes is the goal for today if you are one of the first 371 people to like this video Let me know which one you are in the comments below and you could be cool like Finley Finley was 644 that's not that bad pretty early depending on which video it was and uh, Yeah, if you don't have time to leave a comment just go ahead and uh, subscribe You can get a shout out like killer Brett Ryan or little and yeah, so let's go ahead guys to start this uh, beacon any beacon You're gonna need at least a three by three of iron block. So that's nine You're gonna need one beacon as well. And then uh, in addition, we're going to need Two droppers two hoppers one lever two comparators four sticky pistons four stained glass six redstone repeaters and just bring a stack of blocks by the time you're done building and for every color you want to add on after the first four you're going to need five more blocks, one more repeater, one more sticky piston, and one more stained glass. Uh, yeah, I think that was the easiest way to explain it. So let's just jump down here. Go ahead and put a block there, there, and there. Looking good. Go ahead and grab your redstone repeaters here and here. Both of these guys are on three ticks delay. Once we've done this, let's go ahead and swing around and put a comparator right here. Looking good so far. Grab a dropper, face it forward, crouch place, right trigger in, hopper into that guy. Now we're going to go in the sky. Drop her up. Go ahead. What the heck just happened? That's weird. Crouch place. Hopper down into this one. Fairly simple. Go ahead here. Grab your second comparator. That goes right there. Looking good. It's going to go into a block and then make sure there's some redstone dust right there. Feeling good. Looking good. I like it. So go like this. Block, block. Dust here. Comparator here. Let's just go ahead and throw a block on top of this guy. Actually, you don't need that. Don't waste your time. We'll put it there after. So now that we've done this, we want to make sure that we have sticky pistons where we need them to be. So uh, the first sticky piston is going to go right here. So let's go ahead. One block high right above the piston, right above the beacon. Look, we got good. Then we're going to swing around this way counterclockwise. And we're going to put a sticky piston one block higher than this guy now we're just going to come over here do the same thing one block higher than this guy very simple and last but not least right here one block higher than that guy and there you go there's the first four guys it gets easier after this for sure uh once we've done this now we're going to want to start bringing our signal up not hard at all you know what we're going to do put one item in each of these we're just going to use a diamond why not diamond dallas page if you if you're old school you know who that is and there so one one item in each of these hoppers good so now what we're gonna do is carry our redstone signal up just like this see what we just did very simple grab yourself a dust 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 and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and put one two three just like this Go ahead and grab yourself a redstone repeater here on two ticks delay. All the repeaters now are two ticks delay moving forward. And grab yourself blocks all the way around. Finish the L and put a block on top. Now we're going to be pretty close to done. Repeater, two ticks delay. Redstone dust all the way here. Looks good. Let's swing around here and just make yourself an L shape. And one on top. And guess what we're going to do? Last but not least, two ticks delay with dust. So. Let's go ahead and see what we got going here. Quick little double trigger. Oh, look at that. Now we're cooking with gas. So let's go ahead and turn it off. So now what we're going to do is let's say you want to make this bigger. This is the easy one. You could just put four stained glass right there. But what I'm going to show you how to do right here is actually the easiest way to just extend. So for every time you want to extend, you go like this. One, two, three. And then you put a sticky piston 
facing forward just like this with a block on top and then another repeater here on two ticks delay with dust so there you go we've just added one so hey you want to add another one very easy one two three another sticky piston right there with a block on top and then go ahead and throw a repeater here two ticks delay with dust and say let's add one more just so you guys see how easy it is literally you can make this as many colors as you want one two three sticky piston right there block on top and there you go I'm pretty sure everybody understands what's going on here two ticks delay and dust so now let's go ahead and grab uh, oh silly move but hey I'm down like that <laughs> why would you do that so let's just grab uh, all these different colors I hope that's enough and let's go down to the bottom and start filling it in so the first color here is just gonna be purple blue other blue other blue <laughs> green yellow and let's make this one red and there you go so now we're cooking with gas all you got to do guys on and off on and off whatever you want ding ding and you have a wicked rainbow beacon guys look how easy that is super simple no problemos and you're ready look how cool it is super cool so for my little uh let's just clear the inventory again we could go ahead here uh for for my fun purposes i liked putting the wool around it and i think the easiest way to do that is is just to originally my plan was just to keep switching colors and go a little higher than i did the one before maybe switch the levels next one here you know maybe even make that one higher and do it I just like the way this looks because then people are like oh my gosh that's super cool and just do this guy here we'll go blue a little higher I skipped the corners as well and let's just make this one go there and then let's go back to the beginning again and there you go I think rainbow beacons are super fun <laughs> but yeah super easy guys if i remember correctly if you remember correctly a very popular video was rainbow beacons right when they came out and uh if i remember correctly the first one we made was way more difficult than this one so i don't think i'm gonna actually waste anybody's more time i'm just gonna keep putting this guy down and you guys get the gist no you know what let's finish it i don't want <laughs> i'm like you know what this video we did it pretty quick so let's just grab these colors here why not let's put some green let's just mix and match it up we'll go let's go back to the orange I hope it's not too loud I don't think it's that loud actually yellow I really like the way that this looked I was like you know what I'm adding this rainbow effect even white can go in why not and some pinks and then on this one here just make sure that you don't uh, cover up this guy so you could go ahead and cover this guy and this guy Ta-da! And there you go, guys. Coolest rainbow beacon ever built. I think so. For this one here, I just put the stained glass in the middle and did it. But as you can see, guys, super rainbow beacon. Ultra cool, ultra awesome, and pretty quick and efficient. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to smash the like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe for some more uh, best ever tutorials coming up soon and sometime in the future. And yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.